South Africans, I don't know why you guys do not. Why are you so myopic in your reasoning? Why don't you people want to have sense? Why must you use Nigeria to catch crews? Okay, a balandon is a ceremony that is organized for footballers who have done so well. Either at best goalkeeper of the year or best uh, striker or someone who uh, scores a hat trick and all of those good things they do. Best this, best that. That's what the Ballon d'Or is about, right? And then Ademola Lukman wins with the Ballon d'Or. And Nigerians are so quiet about it. And then South Africans go ahead on comment, different comment sections, tagging people and in, insinuating that uh, because they had a goalkeeper, like it's not a player. How many times have Nigerians won Ballon d'Or? Please check it. Go back. Go back to the history books. Like, I'm talking about this new generation of them, Ademola Lukman. And the one that surprises me is the one that one South African is saying that Ademola Lukman is not, was not even born in Nigeria. <laughs> My question is, what about the other Nigerian, you know, players that were born in Nigeria? The, the match that was played earlier this year, who beat South Africans, who removed them, is Nigerians. I want to understand, please. People should tell me. You see Nigerians, eh? We are too busy pursuing other things, other legit things, that stoop so low to disrespect our flag, to be, you know, exchanging words with you, South Africans. You guys, if Nigeria population was your population, we would definitely topple everything you are doing now. But you guys are so lazy that you, you keep living in your past glories. You, wait, wait, is it? I want to know, I want to understand one thing. You had a goalkeeper on the Ballon We had a player on the Ballon What does a goalkeeper do? A goalkeeper only stands there to get the ball. To either, you know, get the ball or allow the ball go. A player used tact, used in the initiation, team play, to be able to dribble, to be able to score. There are so many players who have never scored a goal, but they are very good players. What do they do? They are very good in masterminding goals and giving it to the scorer to score. So you cannot wake up one morning. Oh, if you guys can be can be sounding like this about Ademola Lukman being on the distance. Somebody say, oh, Ademola Lukman is not from, he's not even Nigerian like that. But did he claim to be European? No. He, his father and mother are Nigerians. Okay, let us say, for example, now, in the last Olympics, one guy from Cross River State, is it? Yes, I think Cross River, he took also. He won a gold medal for South Africans. That guy is Nigerian. He's not, a, he's not a South African. But he went to South Africa and played for South Africans. He won a gold medal. Are you not going to say the gold medal was won by Nigerians? I want to know. Just answer me. The funny thing is, Ademola Lukman is not even the only best player we have in Nigeria. I'm sure you know Victor Osime. I don't want to begin to mention other people. You know Nigerians have never gone a whole, a whole time without having people who are, you understand, who are correct footballers. They are so good. And you see, that's why God keep blessing us. You are tagging people up and down. Come and see you. You are uh, that. Uh, uh, you people had a, a goalkeeper. Goalkeepers know that they can't even compare themselves with the footballers. They know. Everybody know their, their duty post, right? A Ballon d'Or was conducted. The last Ballon d'Or, how many South Africans were there? How many Nigerians were there? I'm, I'm sure you remember. And the thing is, whenever Balandos are being nominated, Nigerians are always on the nominated list. Plenty. So I used to think that a win for Nigeria is a win for Africa. Yeah. Like, if you look at it critically, you will discover that Nigerians are not very, they are not petty. Because the kind of things Nigerians have won, if it were South Africans that won that thing, eh? Kai, 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 kai. South Africans, let me tell you something. Let me advise you. Stop competing, comparing yourself with Nigerians. 
we don't have that time just like you guys have said oh that our government is showing us shiggy you your own government is showing you shiggy and you people can never even see our back with the kind of shiggy we receive in nigeria you cannot even still see our back imagine if the coin flipped your own country is still being plagued with colonization you are still being colonized by your by your gods and they are you are still under them we are not under that colonization we have left the only thing is that the people who colonized us keep sponsoring the wrong people to become our leaders so that they will keep being in charge of some of our natural resources i don't know if you understand the politics behind this but you see we nigerians if we're not a strong-willed strong people and very peaceful people see you know nigeria by now would have gone into war but we are not like that you cannot go to, through a pinch of what we have gone through as Nigerians in the past years. This is almost 12 years that we have been going through this thing. So subtract 12 years from my life. How old was I when Buhari took over power? How old was I? No, let me know how old was I when Buhari took over power. So you see, when you are talking about leadership i keep telling you people remove politics politicians are not leaders who 98 politicians percent politicians are rulers and rulers call the shot they don't lead a leader listens a leader listens a leader pays attention to the body language of the masses not do the, the masses paying attention to the body language of our leader a leader leads by example. A leader will not be the traffic light. Do you understand? So, if a, a leader is a servant leader, somebody that serves you, he went there. Until Nigerian politicians begin to understand, or African politicians begin to understand that the reason you were voted into power is for you to go there and serve the people, then we'll remain where we are. Most of African countries are being plagued by wrong leaders. Yes. So when we are talking about the scorecard of people in Africa who have done so well, please give Nigeria their credit. These people have seen a lot, yet they are still very productive. But in your own country, where you claim to have light, meanwhile you are like um, you are like Ghanaians who would tell us on social media they have light. The next thing, their celebrities will be protesting they don't have light. So I don't understand what part of Ghana has light that you keep saying you people have 24 7 light. You see, Ghana and South Africa, I think they are from the same placenta. It's just true, it's just division or sharing formula that made them fall under the, the, the West. Do you understand? Because I don't understand why everything they do, if they don't compare themselves with Nigeria, it means South Africans, you have inferiority complex. South Africans, you have inferiority complex and you need to deal with it. You need to work on it so that it will help you. Because if you do not work on it, you will fall into a lot of temptations. You will fall into a lot of issues. The Ballon d'Or is not a period where you begin to flex muscles with us. Even when Nigerians win Grammy, they dedicate it to Africa, Afro music. They don't keep claiming, oh, it is you, South Africans, that carry this thing on your head. Comparison. A person who compares himself with other people is a person with a low self-esteem, a low mind. Do you understand? The Ballon d'Or is a peace, was a peaceful one. Whether they rigged us out or not is not a problem. It's inconsequential. As far as a Nigerian was there, in the capacity of a footballer, not even. You all know that our footballer, our goalkeeper is the best. And I th is it not our goalkeeper that is actually goalkeeping for one particular club for South Africa? No, I want to know in case I'm mixing up things, guys. Let me know in the comments. This is our present goalkeeper. When, that was why when Nigerians trashed South Africa, it was like that the guy no go back. You guys need to sit down. And really find out what your problem is. Find out what is plaguing you. Deal with it. Nigerians are not your problem at all. 
We are bigger than your level. We are too much. 